Second time flooding continuing to devastate Midland County tonight as the water begins to recede after two dam failures. The hardest hit communities, Gladwin, Edenville, Sanford and Midland, continuing to see water levels go down today. In Midland, receding overflow from Titabawasi River, revealing the extent of the damage. Seven Action News reporter Jen Shans speaking with people in surrounding neighborhoods, helping each other move forward. This is a pretty common scene here in Midland. People starting to bring up their damaged or destroyed property from flooded basements. News that there will be federal help in the cleanup process is a big relief. I had a queen size futon, a double bed. I had all my grandchildren's toys. It's not only people's belongings, it's memories now piled up with flood debris. Jill Vandersowen lives near Drake and Saginaw Road in Midland. Everything in her basement is ruined, but she says she's counting her blessings. She works in real estate. Some of her clients lost everything. I'm just heartbroken. Just heartbroken. Friends, neighbors, even strangers all working together in the aftermath of this catastrophic flooding due to the failure of the Edenville and Sanford dams earlier this week. It's going to be terrible for a while, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Jill doesn't have flood insurance because her home isn't on a floodplain. So far, what I have heard is that's our only resource is FEMA. Some public spaces like the farmer's market in downtown Midland were almost swallowed in flood water just 24 hours ago. In Sanford, people reporting even more damage. You know, the buildings, they're going to have to rebuild some of those building structures. And in Midland, subcontractors for the city continuing to work hard to pump water out of these homes. 14 pumps pumping out of the sanitary right now, so we can get the basements dried out. Uh, we got pumps in the hospital, drying the basement out down there. This is going to be full all the way across here and probably down that way by the time they get done. Midland's yard waste and recycling program did continue today despite this historic flooding. But residents who weren't able to have their items collected have options to have it collected next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. More information on our website, WXYZ.com. In Midland, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. All right, Jen, thank you so much.